Schlierkisten from Switzerland. Good luck. When, uh, when is sweating? <laughs> That's one of the languages they wouldn't say. They'd say, bon chance, viel Glück. I don't know. Buona fortuna. And whatever. This is terrifying, isn't it? I guess folding is not an option. <laughs> Just jam it or cool? It's cool. Come on. Well, it hasn't got better, I'll be honest. This has not gone well. But I tell you what, good news when he's got queens and we don't go broke. I had better plans. I had better flop. I I didn't like the 3x. I was terrified. I do like the snap check. That feels like it's queens here. Check. Okay, well, I don't think you're going to bet check bluff. Maybe you might. I mean, you might just have air and just be like, who cares, huh? I think we're going to check into queens. I really feel like it's queens. I don't know. I just have a feeling. Now, what do we miss value from if we don't bet? Like seven random? Yeah, queens. Yeah, queens. Okay, one of the cards was a queen. <laughs> Sometimes your intuition's off. Um, interesting ISO hand choice, certainly. I like it, Sligerson. I was terrified, so I mean, it's unbelievably effective. Uh, T1 Rayleigh, are you laughing at my excellent prediction of Queen? <laughs> this guy's got value, I guarantee it. Oh, he's got a deuce. <laughs> it's like, where did that come from? Inducing button limps. I mean, that's true. That's one of the benefits, right? We, we managed to get one of those in, so that's good. I'll take that. Hey, Danny. All right. It's so awkward, isn't it? Playing a button limp. Like, what do we do? Hey, do we just check jam here? I don't think it's a off. I don't think it's unpaired a sex in this range. It could be aces. It could be kings. We block both of those. I don't think it's tens. I think I'm going to check jam. Sucks. I hate button limps. <laughs> I hope it's not jacks. Queens. We have an out. Oof. Oof. Would have been good, huh? Yeah, awkward, awkward. Um, assuming he's got some of the, enough of the 10 9 off and stuff, is always going to be a print of a check jam because I think you're going to naturally limp stab that board all the time. But maybe the limp in range is just queens there. But fair play. We weren't thrilled. The power of the button limp from the other side. No? You know, he went like too much far and folded, I think, didn't he? Okay, that's all I know so far. Give it a call. Snap checks here, which again, it's, a, it's, it's not the board you snap check on. Maybe with like Queen Jack or something. Maybe I'll just do a little pokey little bet and see. More of a kind of. Uh, I think we're getting value, but I'm not sure. Um, check, check, turn, I think it looks pretty good. We could be up against aces or pocket nines, right? Those are definitely viable hands to be up against. Ah, we, I was like, just no queen or jack. I was happy. Maybe we beat king 10. Maybe we beat king queen and they check. King queen. We block it, but that's what I'm hoping of. Or king 10. King 10. Nice. You know, Slitson is fairly honest post flop. I don't think that means. I think that probably means they're fairly likely not to ISO bluff. So I think we just jam his king and then try and mess about. Obviously, it's a jam, like, find a jam, right? But I think it's. Like, here, for example, I think we could probably, weirdly enough, cool. Because we know this range is going to be wide enough. And then we just play super fit or fold. But if he check checks, we have a chance to, when we steal the. Like. We have a chance to steal this pot, to be honest. Um. I think he bets a queen. I think he 10 nearly always. I'm going to go 1.4 and just see what happens, right? It's is kind of ambitious. All right. Our reads are wrong. Our reads are right last time, though. Maybe we're just up against Ace-Jack or Ace-King and just commits to it, though. Could have maybe checked turn as well. That would have been an option. And then just, like, go for a river delay. Like, yeah. I was speculating a lot based on that Ace-X board that we played blind v blinds. Where the C bet was real. Like, when I see C bet reals, I mean, like, it was honest. I'll tell you that. Kings is will be just going for it, but okay. Like, it's tricky this, because it's a snap jam and he's been playing a really low V pip, and I wonder. Ugh, do we have the right price against. I mean, I guess we do against the Ace, ace 8, right? 
Oh, I had not expected Jack Six to be honest. Given his uh, V pip. Okay. Nice. I need to bet here. Double check was good as well. Pretty interesting if Pips comes out betting now. Like our life is, gets very awkward very quick. As played, I think a chip looks great. Really weird what we're trying to get value from if we bet River, but I guess we will, because I mean, what are we trying to get value from, really? I'm just flicking him in bet, see what happens, right? I mean, we have the best hand, obviously, not obviously, to be honest. But he could call King Eye, and he could have an Ace Six. Like, it's not impossible, right? The three is obviously not counterfeit, so he can't have that. And yeah. It's really hard for us to bluff. <laughs> Okay, so Danny Life Min raises and then is having a big think on this flop and decides Min Bet is the choice. Oops, is also having, I think, and goes for a pretty. You'd expect a lot of combos calling. A6 is a real dynamic shifter because, I mean, very little A6 in either range, but a lot of 5x in this range and probably less 5x in this range. So sensible, it feels like check from a lot of the combos uh, we're up against. He's really repping, like, maybe. A uh, flush plus. Interesting min bet here. Like, this is, I would think, atypical of a 5x sizing. This could be a flush. It could be maybe a 4x, which is sort of betting, or a 3x, just sort of betting to like whatever. Um, and then the bluffs here would be like if you take a hand, like, I don't know, 10 7 with a diamond, for example, call flop, min bet turn, shove river. Kind of the tough to have value here, to be honest. I think it's really a flush of repping. So, like, if only life can put it to piece it together, maybe it goes that sizing with like. King five with the king of diamonds or something, right? That's a possibility, but it would be an interesting choice. Yeah, just checking a couple of things on the HUD that we've got before deciding, because jamming is definitely standard here, but I think we're gonna go for a call instead, defend. Top pair, obviously a not, potentially not the worst flop. It depends a little bit, of course. Uh, the comms were beat by, it's always a good idea, I think when you're on the flop, like if you can, if ranges, pre range ranges a bit narrow, think about how you beat by versus how you not beat by. And we are beat by, for example, um, aces, kings, not fives in that range. Ace, king, ace, queen, ace, jack, da, da, da. Uh, Tank bet, which is interesting. Tank min bet here. Um, could well be a hand like uh, queens, jacks, tens, etc., etc., which don't have like a thrilled opportunity. Um, because I think the air is just straightforward, right? You just bet your air. And I think the ace, six, plus also is fairly straightforward. You just bet the ace, six, plus. I could be overreading into that. But like, if you had a decision to make on this flop about whether to bet or not, it would be from a hand like... King X or Queens or something like that. We face a barrel. I think call again. Um, we could be up against obviously some Jack 10, Queen Jack, Queen 10. Um, we unblock bluffs, which is nice. Queen of Spades comes. Not a great card for typically for either range. But let's check. I think now we have the option to fold our hand if we want. Versus a triple barrel, but he hit the queen, which is nice. This boy says, uh, can anyone explain why he button limps? I pinned the message to just see if we get any explanations. But the explanation that Sinead has offered is big fish, which I think is probably fairly accurate. It's the, it's the best we've, attempt we've had to explain it, so. <laughs> is it working? Well, I will say since the button limps, my button win rate has been good. I've limped about... I would say of the kind of traditional VPIP, about 10% of those, 10% uh, of like the total VPIP has been limps. I won't say what kind of range, but um, but overall button win rate has improved a little bit. However, sample's still not enough to say for sure. Now that was a win with a 3X, so that's good. So we're probably somewhere about here, but we might be up or down a bit more. We'll check at the end of the day, but that's our guess. Backdoor straight is good, but I mean, nearly everything is a backdoor straight draw. I'm gonna check this, to be honest. I'm gonna try a little check here, which is unusual, but I think Blind v Blind's under-checked these ASI boards. Um, I think it's kind of okay. In the 10's kind of funky. I think we'll check again. Now, I'm checking for, because I think how our range feels like it's represented versus what we actually have, I think it's quite nice. I think it's definitely room for him to Bet uh, bluff and barrel with a lot of hands, putting us on a hand like King Jack, King Nine, something King Queen Jack, maybe, maybe for example a hand like Pocket Sixes. So I do think it's it's an interesting play. Plus, you know, we, if we bet ourselves, like we're just going to get kind of the similar kind of calls. The Jack comes, ugh, super intimidating kind of board. Um, I don't think it's too much eight nine to worry about. 
But we have a really interesting hand now, because like, what does our actual range look like versus what our perceived range look like? It's difficult to say. He goes to the jam, so he's jamming with, I would guess, I would guess Jack X plus, plus here. So how much Jack 10, Jack 7, Jack 3 does he have? Offsuit, not too much Jack 3. Jack 7, probably not bet in the turn, or probably bets flop. King, Queen, not really there. 8, 9, maybe. Does he have, like, for example, a blocker? Definitely could have 8, 6, stuff like that. I think it will go to call. Hopefully he hasn't got Jack 8. Jack 5. Sad. Um, I think our line would have worked really well long term. We just hit the bad river, right? Because if you have Jack 5 there, you definitely have 8, 5 there, for example, or 9, 5 there, or whatever. Nice, nice value bit, of course, with the Jack 5.